later in the game and I need to get into some head-to-heads and level up and hopefully beat higher level vehicles so I can get close to a level 10 or at least something to compete in the final showdown here. Alright, here's a vehicle here. Let's see if I can get into a head-to-head -head with them. Oh no, at this point I think they're just going to come over and challenge me. I'm going to be left here spinning my wheels. Alright, so they challenge me. I wind up regrouping and off we go. And although these are two levels different, the Focus RS and the Porsche Cayenne are actually very closely matched. I know I need to go over kind of the left of this hill that there's a gap between these hills coming up and he goes too far right starts bouncing over some hills I need to go left of this little mound that this church is on and straight line it at this point I actually have a pretty good shot if I can get through here cleanly let's see Let's watch that again in slower motion. Okay, so what he does is he opens up the map, the map trick, some people call it, where you ghost. And he hits me, opens up the map, goes, and runs into the tree. The map trick or ghosting doesn't work for immovable objects like that solid tree so he winds up running right into that tree <laughs> and off I go to the finish <laughs> to level up actually take his vehicle he's two levels higher I'll take it <laughs> as I'm crossing the finish line I could see that there is a vehicle that is following me and what some people will do is they'll be in higher level vehicles. They will hang out around this area as people are finishing head to heads, challenge them and just take them out. So I head over this direction. I can see they're following me. And then another vehicle appears. Oh no, that's probably, yeah, two vehicles are over here doing the same thing. So I don't know if they're chasing me, chasing each other. They're just looking for a head to head. And I ran into that tree as you can tell. So. Unfortunately, it's not a faster vehicle, so if I can get over through here, I'll be able to level up. Let's see. This is where I see it's in New Leg, and I can cross the dry riverbed through here. Um, there's a few houses that are on the other side here that I have to watch out for, and when I get right here, I realize I need to go up the edge of this bridge and go right in to Mew Lake just around the corner and it's right here. And here's that aerial nomad that I just beat. So at this point I'm thinking if I could get back across the dry riverbed and leave from where I normally leave then I'll do that but as you can see I screw that up I get kind of spinning my wheels here and it asks do I want to reset my position well yeah now I need to just start leaving for the final showdown. little late on my exit but that's okay I am heading the right direction just kind of follow this line of these electrical power towers it's a flatter line through here and gradually turn to the right and get on the expressway okay, 
it looks like I just have this one vehicle to contend with. The other vehicles are too far right in the hills and trees. Here's where I get to see what I'm up against. All right, it's a Funko F9. They go flying across the expressway, off-road, under the bridge. <laughs> that was funny. Well, now I have a shot, but they're going to catch me pretty quick here, so I need to watch what lane they're in. They wind up coming over into this lane, so I'm going to try and bump them off the bridge. <laughs> that was great. Let's watch that in slower motion. And there's a tree they hit right after I knocked them off. <laughs> That was a perfectly executed bump with an assist from a tree. Congratulations! You are the Eliminator! Subscribe, please. Just click that link on the bottom right.